So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through seven apps for proof of delivery. There's a range of different types of apps that are available. I'm gonna walk you through the high level overview of each one of these different apps that, that are available in the market and how best to think about choosing the right app for your business. So let's just jump right on into it. So I've just gone to Google, done a search for proof of delivery. And this is how I think most people should think about when they're doing a lot of research and figuring out what is the best app um, for their business. I'm gonna walk you through just the list of apps that are available here and just give you my opinion on what I think is you know, the advantages and disadvantages and things that I would think about when I'm researching. Now, whenever I am looking for an app, I always start with what is the business problem I'm trying to solve? Have that list of these are the things that you need to solve inside of your business before you start doing any research. And also I would rank, you know, you're not always gonna find every single functionality that you need in every app. Uh, and so what I would be doing is I'd be ranking, okay, how important are these features? And then if they are really important, putting those features at the top. And so when you're thinking about choosing the different app, then you can prioritize those features based on price and looking at you know, all the different aspects of those, those products. All right, so let's just do a deep dive. Okay, the first one here is a product called D-Track. So I'm gonna load up a few of these first and then we'll go into the detail. Um, D-Track's a, a Singapore-based company. Um, Upper Route Planner is another one. Um, these guys here, DataNet, I haven't heard of before, so I'm gonna leave that. Uh, this one here is eLogic E, and then you've got Routific. And then you've obviously got locate to you. Um, you've got another couple here that I'll just load up. So we've got Trackpod, you've got Optimo Route. Um, so what are we at to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. All right, so let's just do a deep dive into each one of these. Um, and so the things that I think about. So always when I want to be able to go into that product and look at it, I want to understand what is this going to cost me straight away. So first off, um, going to the, the pricing side of things and looking at what is this cost and making sure when you look at their pricing and it shows you the first bit of pricing there, in this instance it's $29, does it include everything that I actually need? In this instance, you can get proof of delivery there for the $29. Okay, so that's really good. Um, they do, now that they do have, okay, in this instance here, They've got the ability to book a demo. You don't have the ability to do a free trial. Um, and so that's that's interesting. And I might also then, you know, do something like this where I do a bit of D-Track reviews and just see what else actually comes up. Um, might do a search. Um, something you can see, okay, so you see some ratings there as well. Um, so that's interesting, 3.5 star. I wouldn't always necessarily go based on ratings because sometimes ratings can, can be incorrect and you, you might just have some one or two disgruntled users, particularly when there's only six um, reviews there. Um, but yeah, look, DigTrack's a product. Um, I know they've got a lot of customers and definitely worth looking into in more detail in terms of how it can fit for, for your business. Um, and they definitely do proof of delivery. Thing that I'm not sure whether they do do is whether they go into detail and in having more customization around certain functionality appearing and certain questions that are able to appear when you're doing your proof of delivery. But definitely from a basic proof of delivery point of view, D-Track's definitely gonna be able to help you out. Uh, okay, next one here we're gonna look at is Upper. Um, Upper's also been around for a little while, um, Canadian-based company. Um, and let's just have a look at their pricing. Okay, so this starts from $80. That's for up to three users versus D-Track was about $29. Um, and let's just look down and make sure. Do they have the proof of delivery? Let's just see. There we go, proof of delivery. Okay, so proof of delivery isn't available on their essential plan. It is available on their growth plan. Um, so that's just something to, to think about. Um, and again, I'm not sure whether they have the ability to go into detail and whether it's just capturing a photograph and a signature. And the other thing you wanna think about is, do you need to have multiple photographs that have been captured throughout your proof of delivery there as well? Um, next one here, we've got the eLogi one. And so these guys obviously do route optimization. They do do the um, proof of delivery and they've got some videos. And again, these guys have the get demonstration, but you can't actually do the free trial by the looks of it. Just going back to Upper, they actually allow you to, to have the free trial option um, and you get instant access. And so I do really like that where you've got the ability um, to do that on an application. Um, pricing wise, let's have a look. Um, they don't give you pricing, which usually tells me they're expensive. <laughs> It's usually the view that I've got when you can't see pricing. Um, looking at their proof of delivery information, it looks like you can do that signature. Um, presuming you can do photographs as well. And they do have uh, barcode scanning. And so this might, and there's a configurable checklist. Okay, so they do have a bit more customization. The fact that they don't have pricing on their website usually tells me that they're targeting more enterprise businesses rather than um, smaller businesses. 
Um, so definitely, yeah, worth considering depending on the type of uh, business you're looking at. Okay, next off is Routific. Uh, Routific's been around for a little while now. Um, very good from a last mile delivery point of view. Um, and I think that's where they really, they focus their time and effort on. Um, pricing point of view, looks like you've got some different options and they're doing it based on um, numbers of orders. And so if you're doing 200 orders, it's, there's some flat fee, fee pricing there. Um, and you can see all of that includes, all plans include unlimited drivers, but I guess that's based on the numbers of orders. So obviously you're doing more orders, you're gonna have more cost. Uh, and you've got your driver app, okay. And they do have a free trial option, which is good. And let's just see, they do have the proof of delivery. Um, and so the driver can collect signatures and multiple photographs, which is good. Um, I'm not sure whether these guys actually do have the ability to um, go through and actually have more questions that can be populated at the proof of delivery side of things. So it depends on what you're looking for. If it's something really basic, they're probably gonna be able to, to help you out with it. Um, okay, I'm gonna do Trackpod. Trackpod's pricing, if we look at that. Um, it does vary, and so proof of delivery starts from their Advanced Plus, which is quite surprising they don't have it on their basic level. Uh, it looks like they do actually, but not the pin confirmation. Okay, so they do have the standard um, available there, but then pin confirmation is available in the Advanced Plus. And so the pin confirmation is designed for when you're delivering high value goods. Um, if you need to send a pin to the customer, the end user, they give that to the driver, that's then the release of those goods. And that's really, really good for delivering of high value items. Um, it looks like here they've got quite a bit of flexibility. They've got the ability to have custom POD templates. Um, it looks like they've got barcode scanning, geotag, that's time stamp, it's pretty basic. Um, and yeah, that's, so that looks all pretty standard. So I guess whether or not they've got the ability to um, ask a series of questions at that bit, on that proof of delivery process, not doesn't look like that, that is the case. Um, so if you do need that flexibility, um, and then you might need to look at something else other than uh, trackpod. Um, all right, so next you've got Optima Route. Um, these guys do a lot of optimization work and they also do um, proof of delivery and they've been around for a little while now. You, I think they're a US based company. Um, let's have a look what they say. So it looks like you've got here proof of delivery, um, signature, some notes. Okay, photographs, looks like you can do multiple photographs. Yeah, the question is, yeah, so I think that looks like it's quite a basic sort of option there. Um, it doesn't look like they've got the ability to have more fle flexibility in their proof of delivery. And, but you do have the ability to do a free uh, sign up and trial, so that's worthwhile looking at. And you can see their pricing here. Uh, interesting there, they've got $44.10. I don't know why they're charging 10 cents. Um, that's on their annual subscription versus their monthly subscription. And let's just see. Proof of delivery, yeah, proof of delivery looks like it's only available in their pro plan starting from $49, okay. Um, so yeah, so that's that. All right, so next off, I'm gonna show you locate to you. So locate to you is, is our application. Um, it's called locate to you Pulse and you can, it's available, um, you can do a free trial and you've got your different pricing available. So it starts from $260, but that includes the four licenses and then it goes from $55 um, per license post that. Um, from the, immediately once you get access to the premium plan, you get full access to proof of delivery. Um, there's no limitation in terms of what you can do. So in terms of how you can configure the proof of delivery, it's just a matter of just going to settings, you go down to the configuration, um, you've got the ability to do multiple different types of proof of delivery set up. And so you might have different types of businesses that you're working with that want different types of things done from a proof of delivery point of view. And so whether it's capturing a signature, photograph, barcode, notes, or the one-time pin, you can do that. But the next thing we've found really, really useful is the ability to have questions and configuring your proof of delivery so you can ask the customer or get the driver to enter in a series of questions and have as many of those as you like and choosing different questions for different types of work. So you might have something like, you know, type of product that's been delivered or questions that you want that customer to answer. It might be payment method. Um, it might be saying, can you take a photograph of what the stairwell looks like before you actually um, went and delivered it? So if you have damaged claims that come in when you're doing those deliveries, that's gonna be really useful. And you can also configure these questions to actually only populate based on certain criteria. And so you can set, see here the conditions. It might be based on 
deliveries in a particular area. It might be shipment content like alcohol deliveries, um, or it might be based on a custom field value. And so you say this particular job type, um, if it equals this, then this question only actually appears. Again, every business is different in how proof of delivery will, will work and, and you need it to actually work. And so that's why it's always important. Start with what does your business actually need, then go out and start searching for that particular solution. And that's the best way to actually do that. Always you know, look at the reviews that these different companies will have, then make sure you can actually trial the product and, also, and make sure you know what the pricing is. And so you make sure you're gonna get a commercial business result for your business and get a return on investment on spending that money. So I hope that... <laughs> so I hope you found that video really useful. Now, if you do have any questions, feel free to add a comment. I'm happy to answer those questions. If you want to email me directly, feel free to shoot me an email. My email is steve at locate2u.com.